Hey Scorpios, hope everyone is doing well. It's been a minute. I had to replenish my own energy. I can't come on here and do videos and pour into you guys if my cup is empty. So also I tend to do readings when I'm guided by spirit, when I'm led by spirit. I'm not just out here pulling cards on my ass. <laughs> um, so if spirit tells me to rest, I rest. If spirit tells me to go, I go. Okay, so let's get into these messages, Scorpio. Oh, spirit wants to talk. Messages for Scorpios. Spirit. Planning, <clears throat> planning to see how to get back into your energy. So you have somebody planning to see how to get back into your energy. We have copycat, trying to steal your identity, essence, ideas. Not authentic. <laughs> Scorpios. Seven. All right, let's see what this is about. All right, what is planning to see how to get back into your energy? What is this about the Scorpios? Five is. Oh my god. Five of Swords. So this is someone who has uh, Ace of Swords at the bottom. You already have clarity um, and truth on who this person is, the type of person they are. This is somebody who very much likes to have one up. They like to win at all costs. It's like somebody wants to come. Somebody's planning to see how to get back into your energy, but it's to it's like a it's a revenge kind of feeling, like. They want to have the last word. They want to have the last whatever. Tell me more about this energy. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy coming out sideways. So this is not somebody, this is somebody who's not grounded. Um, the Empress coming out sideways. This is somebody who's like, This is definitely somebody who's crossed you before, Scorpio. And it simply may be because you you were in this Empress energy, Scorpio. You were um, abundant, receptive, you know, uh, everything kind of, uh, you attracting everything you want into your life here. And uh, somebody didn't like that. Or they felt some sort of way about it. But this is somebody... Um, Scorpio, you could be a mother or father, Empress Energy, or this person could be. For some of you, this could be your own mother with this Empress Energy. Tell me more about this. Ten of Swords, okay. Okay. <laughs> This is somebody's goal is to come in, win at all costs, betray you, hurt you, create some sort of downfall for you. Somebody's trying to take you out of this Empress energy or Empress. How can I say this? Somebody's basically trying to take you off your throne, Scorpio. <laughs> I mean, good luck. I feel like you're very protected. Seven of Wands at the bottom. Uh, yeah. This is somebody who may have, like, um, self-esteem issues. Tell me more about this Empress energy, because I feel like somebody may be trying to, um, get your energy off, Scorpio. Because this person's off in their energy, their intuition is off. Everything is off mentally, emotionally, and they want to put you in that position. Misery loves company type of energy. Tell me more about this person. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This person is planning, plotting on how to do something here, Scorpio, and how to bring about this Ten of Swords. Hey, one thing is another. I'm telling you. 
Tell me more about this energy. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Eight of Wands wanted to flip out too. So um, this the star at the bottom. This person. Mm, okay. This person, Scorpio. <clears throat> You constantly always have these manipulative energies coming out. So somebody very uh they're intelligent. I think they're they're very intelligent when it comes to manipulating things, manipulating people and situations. This person's really all up in their head on how they're gonna go about something here. They're really planning it out, Scorpio. They're planning it out in their head and then they're, it's like taking the steps to do it in the real world. What? Some of you with the star here, some of you could be in the spotlight, Scorpio. You could have some sort of platform. This person may be in the five of pentacles energy where they're, um, they may be going through financial issues, financial struggles. They may have lost a job, lost a home. Um, five of pentacles can also be an energy of, um, someone's, uh, someone feeling um empty within but the six of pentacles here you may have helped this person in the past scorpio six whether it's financially or um in some capacity here i feel like you have helped or supported this person in some sort of way aces of swords at the bottom and the ten of pentacles here um I feel like you've supported or helped this person in some sort of way, Scorpio. Could have helped heal this person. But, I don't know, it's, it's some sort of rivalry here or jealousy that's going on with this person. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, there's a fire sign uh, who's trying to, who's planning on how to, excuse me, planning to see how to get back into your energy. Could be an air sign as well. Two of cups, yeah. Okay, so Scorpio, you may have two energies here, okay? There's a fire sign who wants to come in with an apology, but this is somebody who's also betrayed you, Scorpio. Um just backstabbed you in some sort of way there was definitely some sort of painful ending between you and this uh king of wands here so you have a couple energies here trying to come back in i want to see a little more into this king of wands because i feel like you have one energy coming back in for ill in intentions ill reasons here and then you have another energy who wants to come back after some sort of betrayal I don't feel like... Tell me more about this King of Wands. Okay. Five of Swords. And the Strength card came out. So definitely could be dealing with a Leo. justice is here there could have been okay scorpio this energy i'm picking up a lot of stories here i feel like there's a a, a a situation here where there was a you and someone may have been together and there was someone else on the outside who kind of caused some sort of rift or separation or betrayal here like they use some sort of manipulation tactic in order to uh, put a wedge between you and someone else. This person may have been listening to this other person's lies or manipulation. But 
this king of wands also wants to come back and win at all costs they're moving in very they're moving very slowly scorpio they may be trying to find the strength to come towards you here um but yeah i don't feel like this king of wands is ill intent i feel like they are planning to come back to like, wanting to be with you or wanting to be in your energy be a friend a lover but i feel like there was somebody who got in between that then there's somebody else here who is trying to come back in with ill intent scorpio there's an air sign aquarius Libra, gemini here and then there was a fire sign all right let's keep it going sorry about okay six of wands success and victory scorpio that's what you're having getting a lot of recognition um in some capacity it could be at work um but somebody is trying to copy that tell me about this copycat for scorpio came out again but in reverse this time six of wands in reverse this is somebody who's not having success or the victory that they would like Scorpio they um this person is not seeing some sort of success in their life they're not getting recognition for something so it's like they have to resort to stealing your ideas your identity your essence because they're not getting the success that they want so it's like well let me just do it like like Scorpio because I see Scorpio having success that way so let me just copy that I about this copycat five of pentacles I'm telling you this is somebody who doesn't like they can't come up with their own ideas they're um they don't have their own identity so they got to look for the next person tell me more about this copycat this person may be going through some sort of financial issues financial struggle could be the same person over here scorpio that i was picking up on <clears throat> nine of swords this person is like riddled with anxiety <clears throat> i feel like they're constantly like this person is so stressed about your success, your victory, your recognition that it's putting this person into a very anxious state. I'm telling like you're they're in the nine of swords, Scorpio, like oh, I'm not having success. I'm not having victory. I'm not having this recognition like Scorpio, da, 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 da. Nothing's working out in my favor. Meanwhile, Scorpio, you're four of swords getting your beauty sleep. You are um, you're praying, you're meditating. You're like you are you have mental clarity whereas this person does not tell me about this copycat for scorpio queen of swords aquarius libra gemini so this could be somebody you cut off scorpio or you're just seeing right through somebody you know somebody's trying to copy you <laughs> this queen of swords is like giving me like Scorpio like you're like the fuck is this the, fu the fuck is this <laughs> it's like seeing somebody copy you in some capacity whether it's like your ideas your identity your essence how you dress how you walk how you talk and you're just like the fuck <laughs> so <tell me> more. <laughs> it's a sword Scorpio yeah you you see right through somebody you see right through somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's not just you, but there's going to be a lot of people. This may be the reason why this person's not getting the success or the recognition that they want, Scorpio, is because it's not just you who's seeing right through this person. The divine spirit is making sure that other people are seeing who this person truly is. Other people can see that this person is copying you in some sort of what in some capacity, so yeah <laughs> oh man tell me about um that authentic here seven of swords so again somebody's stealing your identity your essence your ideas scorpio because this person's not authentic again it's oh scorpio's having success and recognition there and i'm not having it how i'm doing it let me copy scorpio so i can but the problem is is that Everybody can see that this person is copying you in some sort of way, Scorpio, or they're they're going to. A sword here, Queen of Swords. This person can't fake the funk and be you. It's it's 
heavy on this person. Not being authentic is weighing heavy on this person. Tell me more about not, off not authentic. Nine of Wands. Uh, again, I just feel like this is somebody with this Nine of Wands energy. Like they're, um, I feel like their ego is bruised or they're feeling, you know, battered and, and things like that. Like, because they know they're not living authentically or they're not doing something authentically. I'm almost getting a little bit of fear here, Scorpio. That this, this person, I don't know if this person is fearful of you or fearful of the fact that they're not being authentic and they're they're going to be called out or th that truth is going to be revealed like somebody's going to call them out queen of swords tell me about not authentic knight of wands <clears throat> excuse me aries leo sagittarius energy yeah somebody's just impulsive here um they don't think before they do <clears throat> Tell me more about this not authentic. The lovers, Gemini um, energy here. Give me one more. Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands. So something about this person's actions, their communication, how they talk, how they do things here, Scorpio. It's not authentic at all. Like whatever, however, they're doing something exactly how you do it or talking how you talk or dressing how you dress this person might even be trying to date the same people you have dated or you know something like that son of cups high priestess um so i feel like you're living that authentic life you're in that ten of cups you have that happiness um within and you know that there's some sort of copycat here or you intuitively know what somebody's trying to do i feel like you're not worried about it scorpio not with the high priestess energy you are in this queen of swords like the fuck but you're also not really worried about it because this person's going i don't have the sun here or anything like that but i feel like this person's going to be exposed in some sort of way ace of swords You may have a few energies here scorpio who are not being authentic with you in regards to like romance you have a knight of wands player energy knight of swords and a page of wands very um immature energies they could be younger than you don't have to be they could just be uh they're not as mature as, you know but anyways let's see who this knight of wands is five of cups and the two of wands so this is somebody who maybe grieving something um so they're they're somebody this person whoever this knight of wands is this player energy they could be hiding the fact that they're going through something or grieving something here this is somebody who does have more than one option or they're keeping their options open but they are still grieving over something from the past um they haven't let go of something or someone tell me about this knight of swords the tower Jesus. the knight of swords so this is somebody who's um they might come in as a lover scorpio but they're really coming in like this is the knight of swords with the tower it's like somebody wants to rush in knight of swords for me is always somebody who talks shit Like that, the Knight of Swords is really somebody who speaks before they think. So essentially, like this is somebody who is like they'll come in and cause a tower with the shit that they say. Very reckless energies is what this feels like. Something about the Page of Wands, Nine of Cups. I'm not getting wish fulfillment. I'm getting more of a selfish energy here with this Page of Wands. Seven of Swords in reverse. Give me one more for this page of wands. This page of wands is not the star. They this this page of wands is not able to whoever the page of wands is is not able to lie to you, Scorpio. They're not able to. You could really see through this person. I feel like you could see through all these people, but whoever this page of wands is, 
Aquarius energy here. This page of wands may have not been authentic with you before, but they know now, Scorpio, that they have to be. They know that they can't hide who they are or what they want from you. Like, it, <laughs> they can't. They can't blindfold you. They can't keep you stuck. You may have an Aries Leo Sagittarius who wants to come in as if they want to heal things with you, Scorpio. But again, these are not authentic energies. Knight of Swords coming out again. Hmm. Give me all right, I'm being invited to give me a little more on this copycat energy. Judgment. Okay, this person's under judgment, Scorpio. High priestess at the bottom, the moon. You're very intuitive. You know somebody was trying to hide something here or trying to be like you, copy you in some sort of way. This person's receiving judgment or about to Scorpio. Mm. And I'll leave that right there. Let's get some. Mm. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Actually, I'm being called. Let's get some confirmation cards first. Let's see. Now, for those of you who are new, I do not clarify confirmation cards. They're just confirmation cards for you. Um, so take it as it resonates. Okay, let's see. We have X alert. So <sighs> one of these energies here who are not authentic could be an X. All of them could be X's trying to come back in. But I did feel that some there was an X trying to come back in here, Scorpio. You are here on a divine mission. This is why whoever's trying to copy your ideas, your identity, your essence is under judgment. Because what you're doing cannot be copied. Laugh now, cry later. All these energies, the ones who are trying to plan to get back into your energy, to betray you, to one-up you, to play you, to talk shit, to cause you towers. They might be laughing now, Scorpio, but they're going to be crying later. Okay? Mortal Kombat in the 5D. So there could be some sort of spiritual warfare going on right now. And that's exactly what it feels like with all these energies trying to come at you. Like people may not be physically coming at you, but you could feel it spiritually and energetically, Scorpio. Karmic manipulating a masculine. Didn't I? I knew I felt somebody. There was an energy here, Scorpio, of somebody manipulating someone else when it came to um you. Okay. We have missing you like crazy. You have the skills, you have the potential, believe in yourself. You are a chosen one. I want to freeze time when I'm with you. Okay, let's get some advice. Be mindful of people trying to come back into your energy, Scorpio, just to, again, steal your ideas, steal your 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 essence, like how you talk, how you do things. It's like somebody wants to just get people wanting to, like, study you and be you. Like, this is crazy. All right. Advice for Scorpios. <clears throat> Ooh, we have L has 31. Divine might foretold. So your birthday could be the 31st. Your... You could be 31. Your birthday could be November 4th. It could be a life path 4. Let's uh, get the book. Okay. 31. You know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromising yourself creates a loss of soul. 
There are times when it may seem as though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without adverse repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective, yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual worlds. <laughs> Re uh, restorative action and balancing fairness is always in action at a higher level, according to the divine timing and wisdom. Stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you will win that you will win in a way that brings benefit to many. Okay, spring break, so my kitties are here. Sorry about that. Okay. Don't let yourself down with behavior or attitude that are unworthy of you. You have divinity within you and a right to be in the world with dignity, grace, and integrity. Whether in a small matter of apparent insignificance to anyone other than yourself, or in big matters where you feel your soul and perhaps the soul of others are on the line, integrity will be your saving grace. You can be a kind heart, you can be kind of heart, but also firm as you refuse to allow anyone or anything to convince you that lowering your standards of acceptable behavior is warranted. <clears throat> be in right relationship with yourself and the divine. Justice will always be done, whether you see it happening or not. Put your faith in the good and true and you will successfully continue on your path. Others are relying on you to be true to yourself more than you may realize. You are strong enough to live with honor and self-respect. This is the sole quality of integrity, which places you on the right side of the spiritual laws of the universe. Okay, Scorpio, because you're not out here trying to copy anybody's identity, essence, ideas. You're, you, out, you are out here being authentic, unlike these energies coming at you. Okay. In the Norse tradition, personal uh, luck, grace, power, and the energy and ability to succeed are known as Haminja. This oracle foretells an increase in your hamingja, I hope I'm saying that right, and your capacity to impart your spiritual energy to your communities. You will be in a position of rising power and influence with which your integrity will help you express wisely. Those who hold spiritual influence will sometimes end up standing apart from others who may demonstrate less inner strength. By refusing to compromise what you know is true, you will be able to uplift those who are ready to go beyond egoic attachment to greed, laziness, and boredom. You can bring about a new understanding that one standard of living is about more than the personal ownership of possessions. Rather, it is about the inner state of our being and how we choose to live the life we have been given. Your influence is not about encouraging others to make the same choices that you have made for yourself, but to learn to honor their own integrity and make wise decisions for themselves, not be copycats, right? In this way, you become a spiritual protector and guardian of those in your communities, helping each individual to grow according to their soul journey. Elk urges, uh, urges us to care for and protect each other. We are urged to be firm about what is just and what is not correct, and also to be merciful and have compassion in our heart, for we are human beings who will stumble. If we are courageous enough to pursue a path of justice and truth, the Divine Father, an aspect which elk wisdom expresses through justice, nobility, and integrity, will support and encourage us. The moment we are moved to harshness, even if we believe it is in pursuit of a noble cause, we lose our spiritual footing, compromise our values of mercy and compassion, and undermine our strength of leadership. In this advanced spiritual citizen citizenship, we recognize that our empowerment comes from our consciousness. We use our will to uphold that consciousness, not to attempt to dominate another, but to evoke a quality of soul that inspires others toward taking their own healing actions. Elk wisdom will, at some stage, bring us into a testing period during which we will feel challenged. We may question or be questioned, as to whether we are being realistic or should just adopt the same lower frequency approach as most others seem to. In your heart, however, you know that the moment you do this, you will lose yourself. As we pass through this initiation of elk wisdom, we will get to a place where, without any loss of passion for the healing outcome we desire, we realize that if we are willing to sell our soul to obtain results, then we have lost, not won. At this level of internal spiritual integrity, the divine can rely upon you to be a faithful helper in this world for loving higher purpose. You are trustworthy, a true devotee to wisdom, and so the appearance of Elhaz foretells a successful and visible soul mission for you this lifetime. Scorpio. So again, that time of being tested, of you questioning things or being questioned, I feel like that's that mortal combat, that um, spiritual warfare. Finish him. <laughs> Oh, Scorpios, I miss y'all. I love y'all. If this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye.